Another episode of Minnesota's number one daily show live on Lake Street. Special guest in the building. The beautiful Red. Hi. So, you know, we were talking a little bit off, a little bit off the mic. Yeah. Um, you know, getting to know one another. It so, meet you, like I said. likewise. Okay. So, it's my understanding that you were maybe a little apprehensive about me as a person or as a journalist. I don't um, know. As a platform. Okay. <laughs> Also, live on Lake Street it's or me? It's live on Lake Street. It's not you or anybody in particular. Anytime people are mentioned to me in groups, mm -hmm. it's always kind of like directed at this or that. So I try to do my research. Mm. So I heard about y'all a long time ago, but I wanted to just kind of have a moment, see how things were growing, see how things were going with y'all. Y'all been doing good stuff. Regardless of what people say negative about any platform, mm -hmm. as long as I see you supporting your community, growing your followers, pushing people for better I can stand behind that. So Yeah, I don't know any other platforms that support the way we do. <sighs> Me? <laughs> I'm working on it. You heard what I said, number one. You, I'll give you that. You could be two or three, I'll four, give you whatever. That. The hats off, live at Lake Street. I mean, you know, we're the, I'd say we're definitely the most inclusive. I get, I, I get the perspective of, you know, people thinking that we just always want to start shit, which, but that's not true. I don't get that. I don't get that from you guys, though. I get it because, you know, we post we we post the salacious stuff like but there's a whole other rest of the interview. Don't you don't you work in media? It's, yeah, it's called clickbait. Exactly. That's what we do. Exactly. That's if the people point. Actually do their research and learn their terms. Then they'll understand what you guys are doing behind the scenes. The problem with Minnesota is a lot of people don't understand how business really works. Right. So they take everything to heart when. This is just business. It's never personal. So it's not. If I post something, it's probably because I wanted you to get the attention of it. If exactly. I say something like, hey, this celebrity did this, isn't that the point for you to watch? You clicked on I just needed you to watch for 30 seconds. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's really it. And and it also, you know, I think that maybe what people fail to realize is this it sheds light on Minnesota, which is what we want, right? Thank God. The artist community, the you know, the entertainment business. Like we have a lot of really talented entertainers here, not just artists either, not just that musical part, artists. So. You know what? I had to teach a lot of people that entertainers are not just artists. No. I am a model before I'm anything else. So when I started doing radio, they're like, we work with models. We just do artists. I'm, what the hell do you think that I do all day? Yeah. I mean, I'm not a, I am not a musical artist, but I'm an entertainer. Yeah, that part, we entertain. Yeah. Do we not? Do we, we, I'm not musically inclined at all. Yeah. I'm on some art. I'm on some rapper stuff. I got to do some drops, that type of stuff. But no, I'm not musically inclined. But we're just as involved with the entertainment business. If anything, we're actually probably the ones helping push it and make uh, it because uh, we don't really have an entertainment business here in Minnesota. We're currently building one. Yes, a hundred percent. And I think that that second word, I say it all the time. That second word is the one that people fail to recognize. It's a business. It's, business. it's the entertainment business and. People forget that that's what this is. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't, it's, it's business. I think people are so caught up in the Minnesota nice and everybody wants to be in cliques and everybody wants to be friends that they forget that you just should be focusing on what your next goal, your next opportunity, what your next bag. That's what business is for. It's for the growth. Yeah. So if you're only focused on what somebody else is doing, but you're not putting that out there, mm -hmm. you're really just taking away from our entertainment business. It's a lot of haters. There's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that people really don't get. It's just, oh, I don't like this person. Or, I mean, I get that from y'all. Like, y'all get a lot of people who, who don't like you, but they don't really have reason. Yeah, I've heard that a lot, too. Yeah, so, you know what my mom said? I don't. I really don't care. I don't. You, I don't need. I don't need you to That's like me. me. I don't care. That is me all day. Like I go through a lot. Like being a plus size model that just became popular a yeah. couple years ago. Especially yeah. like being a girl my size. Like I've always been cute. I'm gonna fit in with the crowd. Yeah. But I'm also gonna outstand the crowd because I'm an individual. Like who wants to always fit in? You don't have to make people like who the gives a fuck if somebody don't like you. As long as I'm doing my job and your views are up, right? Yeah. Ratings up. Yeah, we're doing great. Looking good. Things are doing great over here. Yeah, and okay, you, so and 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 a, and a side note to that, like I also feel like if you don't like me, you've probably never met me or been around me because I think if you met me, you probably would be. I've like, met you now, and I like you. Yeah, see, <laughs> see what I'm saying? I met you now, and I like, but I did not not like you before I met yeah. you either. I'm a very stickler person when it comes to making decisions on how people are, and so I get my own opinion of you because I don't want you to judge me. 
that's like the worst thing that people do here in Minnesota is, oh, this person doesn't like me, so I bandwagon as copycats. Yeah. Like, I don't I, I, I care so little about whether or not you like me that even if I think you like me, you could publicly say you don't like me. And I'll still <laughs> invite you to come sit down with me. Like, I don't. It's business. Yeah. I don't care. And honestly, if you don't like me, that shit, that might, that might do pretty, that might do pretty good. You know what I mean? Like, if you keep that energy, that might. If you keep that energy yeah. with, but you know what? When you come to me, I get that with a lot of girls. I thought you were going to be this way, but you're so cool. Because you thought I was going to be some type of way. So if you come to me and you're yeah. giving me a prelude of what you think I'm going to be like, I'm a funny acting person. I like to get my leg back. I might, yeah. I might give you what me you too. was looking for. Yeah. But if you come to me and we're be able to conversate and vibe and I'm wanting to know what you're doing, you can have that same dialogue with me. Why would we have a problem? Yeah. Like I agree. That's, that's really the biggest. People are always looking for an issue. They feel like that's what pushes entertainment. Entertainment doesn't have to be competition. No. Hence the reason why I brought the hashtag. Talk about the hashtag. Collaboration over competition. Amen. So it was already trending like 97,000 on Instagram. Okay. Facebook going crazy, but nobody owned the rights to it. Mm. Like I, a lot of people are not aware of it. All you have to do is run it by the IRS. All you have to do is run your numbers, run things by. It takes a little bit of time to get a hashtag owned, but it's doable. Okay. I didn't so, know that. Mm -hmm. So collaboration over competition is something that I just wanted to push. I'm with a lot of artists all day. I'm around you guys now. I'm the Prince Kumis and the, all the other things that we're doing here in Minnesota. It's big for me to stay neutral. Mm. So the, I'm not limited in one box. I'm not limited in one circles. And I always have those resources to be able to say, hey, well, let me reach out to Jake for you. He might be able to help you with this. Yeah. Or let me call Louis on this one. Or let me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I consider the people that I work with associates, but also I build relationships with some of them. So I use you as references or I use you guys to grow from you. I can't grow in negativity. So I just wanted to push everybody. And I'm from the modeling world where even though models are very clicky mm. and a little bitchy mm -hmm. <laughs> from time to time. Right. So trying to push the, the younger and the older models, I'm getting up there when it comes to being a model. So I'm trying to still collaborate with the girls who are coming into the game so that they're not going through some of the things that we used to go through. So don't you feel like there's a certain amount of competition that's necessary, though, to push each other? Yeah, but the only competition I see is me. It's in the mirror. Mm. <laughs> so people are typically in competition with you without you knowing. That's true. Naturally. That's true. So I just naturally treat that like, I just, everybody around me is always winning for the best of them. Hmm. So I'm going to stand on my team and make sure that I'm getting the best of me because, I mean, I want you to grow. I want everybody around me to grow, but I'm going to make sure that I'm still elevating as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know if, I don't know if I agree with collaboration over conversation. But. <sighs> Explain. Mm, I think after a certain amount of time spent doing what I've done mm -hmm. and doing collaborations right. and attempting other collaborations and also competing. Mm -hmm. um, I think I prefer to compete over collaborate because after, a, after a certain amount of time, after a certain period of time, it's like the collaborations don't do nothing for me yeah. and the competition does. I do think the competition in business is healthy growth. Yes. So there's a balance with that because yeah. if you don't collaborate, then you don't have artists, then you don't have... That's a good point. You don't have people coming in, and you don't have... So you need the people who also support you because your viewers and your followers and the people who look up to Jake, yeah. the people who look up to Eat, the people who look up to Live on Lake Street as a platform mm -hmm. are looking to learn from you. Yeah. So if they feel like they're only in, collab in competition with you, they're not going to be able to take anything from you. Well, so let me... that that can I can explain why even that right there is an issue for me because I have attempted to help yeah. other people and teach other people and bring other people in and I've done all kinds of, you know what I mean? And, and it's been met with, mm, I, we, I, we got it. I got it. Minnesota is very, but you don't got, it. I'm looking, you don't got it. Minnesota, I hate that. I hate that about us. I really do hate that about us as a state. Like people are so afraid to congratulate. Mm. People are so afraid to just say, 
you're doing a fucking good job. Yeah. So, Jake, you're doing a good job. Thank you. But you still need your supporters. You still need the people who look up to you. And everybody isn't looking at you guys like you're in competition. Some people are actually looking to learn from you guys. Well, I mean, yeah. So those are the people that you don't want to, to X out because of the bullshit that other uh, people. No, I agree with you on that. That I agree with you. There are so many new artists coming into the game where some of these other ones are fucked up. Mm -hmm. If they never get the chance to sit down at your table, yeah. they're never going to have, you, you guys are the number one platform currently mm -hmm. right now. If they never get to sit at that table, what are they learning? They're going to stay right here in this city getting booked by their friends. Because that's what True. happens here. But I feel like we give, friends, I, so feel like I, give I, I feel like I give game almost every episode too though. You know, you be dropping gems. Yeah, I'll be watching, but yeah. you got to watch. Right. People got to watch. Right. People skim through shit, they don't watch. So you got to watch. That's true. That's you true. You got to watch. This People have, I study my craft. Yeah. So me being an entertainer, whether it's you guys, whether it's my fellow models, whether it's fashion shows, whether I'm watching Rondo people, the news people, like there's the people from just the fucking community that I meet and I just talk to. Yeah. I take from that. Mm -hmm. You got to let them still pour into you. Yes. Yeah. But you can say fuck them too. Though. Just flat it's out. not. It's not if fuck. People, it's not fuck not everybody. Fuck Actually, them. it's not fuck, fuck the anybody. ones who do not support. Yes. If you do not support me, you cannot expect for me to continue giving to you if yeah. you're not giving back. That's stupid. That's the definition of insanity. Doing right. things and expecting a difference. That's not gonna. Truthfully, it's not. It's not fuck anybody. Yeah. It's just. But there if are. If I don't deal with you, I don't deal with you. It doesn't yeah. have to be negative. Yeah. You cannot associate yourself with people and yes. keep it positive. Exactly. That's, yeah, I just I don't deal yep. with you. I just don't deal with you. Yeah, and I can and and healthy competition. You know, in, competition in, is healthy. It's like being in gym class. Then somebody had to win. Of course, somebody has to win. Yes. Otherwise, if there's there's levels to this shit, if nobody is ever up here, yeah, what is down here aiming for? Um, yes, I agree with you. So so talk to me about kind of what your role in entertainment is right mm. as of right now currently your role in entertainment i consider myself like the in-between plug like not only between the comp the collaboration over competition thing but i'm kind of like your little black book in the entertainment business mm. here little rolodex yeah on the rolodex you call red for when you want stuff you put your money on red when you want some shit to get done the right way mm. i promise you there's never a person who's done business with me to ever be able to say i've snaked them or i've done something incorrectly i haven't held up my part of the deal now my ass might be a little late Hmm. Sometimes. However, I got you when I get there. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's okay. I got you when I get there. We got lives. Everybody's got lives. <laughs> My life is busy. I'm still in school. Yeah. I got a kid. I got all kind of stuff going on. But entertainment, I've been in corporate. I've been working for the county and doing mental health for the last 10 years. Hmm. But I have way too much personality to sit behind somebody's desk and not give more than like in mental health you're really just taught to shut off your feelings what do you want to do like what do you aspire to do is are you doing what you want to do or is there something bigger something I, more i would say that i don't think that i can do what i necessarily want to do here ah. i think i've kind of maxed out i'm probably i am i i can say i probably am i am one of the most popular plus size models i am one of the most popular hosts here so i'm also one of the most well-known people for putting you into connections with people mm. so i've done what i needed to do here hmm. i think so i aspire to still do more like i love tv you know in a couple movies i didn't think that i would love radio the way that i did it, I, i've really fallen in love with being on the airwaves what are you on, are you currently on the airwaves i am coming back with for the record radio i am so i've been doing for the record for the last almost two years with gaza but now we're kind of elevating it so that I will have a station that I'll be able to be heard live. I'll be able to have my own services and backup and all of those things. What's what? Do you know what the dial will be? What's the station? I don't know yet. It's going to no. be placed in New York. So I go out there oh. on the 18th of this month for Fashion Week. So we're going to go sit down and talk about what that looks like for me. Okay. So you're leaving us? No. So you're coming to do your live on Lake Street interview and then all, leaving. I am never. Minnesota will always be home stumping grounds for me. My family is here. My siblings are still here. I can't go nowhere. Okay. So, but entertainment wise, sounds like Cap. She's I leaving. feel like she's I'm out, not She's up out of here. <laughs> she's had enough of this bullshit. I'm not leaving because they still need me here. Okay. But if I don't reach out beyond here, mm -hmm. we're gonna be stuck in the current circles that we have. We we. We have to talk to people outside of the world, the Atlantas, the Miamis, the Floridas, the Las Vegas, just the shit that's popping. Yeah. We're making entertainment here. They already have it. Yeah. We need to be collaborating <laughs> so that we can take those resources and join that together. You saw what happens when we collaborate. Shit happens sometimes. 
right. You saw the, the guy that came, your friend, your <gasps> be, your friend. friend that came He's and sat friend. in that chair that and tried to collaborate. Friend. You know what? I still think that you guys will be able to have collaboration. I can promise you we won't. <laughs> On some level. No. On some level. Y'all have no, already ma'am. collaborated in a way. No, ma'am. If, y'all don't think so. But if you no, really I don't think, think about he thinks it, so. I don't. I can't speak for how he may think. But I can speak for the people who I think look up to you guys because they take from both of you. Mm. Kumi, live on Main <laughs> Street. They kinda You're going to get. Don't I'm, do this to me. <laughs> You're going to get me out of body. You you're gonna get me out of body. You started it. Mm. Now, like I said, you got your I'm interview on Prince Kumi. You got your interview. I had my interview with Kumi like six months ago. Were you upset when he deleted it? I hit my numbers. My interview is still up. No interviews are up. My interview is still up. His, on his YouTube day. is deleted. I didn't. I'm okay, maybe you might be right. Gone. You might be right. If you are right, I gotta give you that. But right. I'm gonna research that when we get off this phone. So now that you know, are you upset? <laughs> I might got some questions. I'm talking. Honestly. I'm just. Ta- I'm just talking shit. I might I'm got talking some shit. questions this but no, I think that what you guys really don't realize is y'all really have two different types of platforms. Oh, for sure. Y'all aren't even in. For me, I think why it's so easy to stay neutral with you guys, knowing you, knowing Emmanuel, y'all are nothing like Kumi. No, that's a fact. For a reason. Mm-hmm. So you give entertainment a whole different spill. Yeah. He is doing more news reporting type journalism that's a different era that's not even entertain yes he's tapping the basis of entertainment journalism but this is media for you guys this is what you do flat out so that's where your energy is directed i i think what we do is a little bit more current it's more what is happening elsewhere in this genre because i've done what he did what he does and it didn't work nobody cared People, you, <sighs> that's the problem is nobody cares like you want to complain about the salacious shit but then when i wasn't doing the salacious shit Pe- that is y'all didn't give like a fuck. drama people like drama yeah. even not we'll take him completely out of the topic yeah people like watching you guys kick up shit yeah it's like high school like you people don't pull out your phones you want to watch the fight but that's the other <laughs> thing too is we don't kick up shit the people on that chair do. I mean, that's not true. I'll kick up shit, everyone. I just did a minute it's, ago. People come in again with preludes of what the fuck yes. they feel like it's going to be like to sit down at this table. Yep. Pe- First of all, let me tell you, I told that the girls thought that you guys' table was scratched up, not that it was marble. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me just say that. Some of the girls was like, Listen out there, get, like, let me report to y'all ladies. It's cute in here. Yeah. It's clean. It's cute. It smells good. It's nice in here. <laughs> it's nice in here. And it, I'm fucking proud of y'all. Like, thank you. I am proud of the people that I can learn from. And I can, t- I, again, I take from, like, that's big for me. Like, a lot of people look at girls at models here, like, oh, you just a girl. And to a lot of men, I'm going to always just be the model known as the beautiful red. She's just some cute girl. But yeah, we're not that nice. We're not that nice to women. No, Minnesota. y'all aren't. Y'all be trying to treat my fucking soul, take my events, all kind of shit. But I got a little burp. Mm. So, and I'm not dumb. So, you can't treat me like you treat a regular girl. You just, you can't. I was raised by men. I was taught to handle myself a certain mm. type of way, carry myself a certain type of way. Yep. So, very much so. Red is a girl, but you gonna handle me a certain type of way. Mm. That's just that. mm-hmm. you gonna handle me a certain type of way. And if you don't, it's cool. I like to get my leg back. For sure, I like to get my leg back. So, so. talk to me, like what? So you know, we've I've had quite a few conversations just today about, um, you know the the funny the funny side of it was you know the face of the city, right? Yeah. But truthfully, we do need for the music scene here to pop the way that we know that it can, the way that I assume you know how how much talent is here. Hell yeah. Minnesota is so fucking underrated. We need need somebody to really break through that ceiling, right? Yeah. Here's something that I recently realized. The difference between us and some of these other big cities and states that have a really big uh, hip-hop scene is, let's say, okay, for example, you have Atlanta. Yep. You have... Chicago, you have L.A., you have New York, you have Detroit. What do we have? Minneapolis. <laughs> and we have Minneapolis and St. Paul 
<laughs> and all the surrounding areas. Yeah. <laughs> We're not just one city. Mm-hmm. So there's, I feel like that, that's, there's like this weird kind of underlying competition between those, the three of them. Yeah. So like you can't really, St. Paul artists can't really get a lot of support from Minneapolis. There's some. Yeah. And Minneapolis artists have a hard time getting support from St. Paul. Yep. And then both St. Paul and Minneapolis kind of look outside of the Twin Cities like, mm, y'all are, <laughs> y'all, y'all are, are y'all are, y'all are white, relax. <laughs> Pretty much. That's, that's yeah. facts. I have to agree with that. Even so that's, up, that's where I think, crossover. that's where they I think don't. the division is. It's it not, is, it's, uh, it's, oh. we don't have a Atlanta. We don't have Atlanta. Right. We have. Right. We just do. Twin Cities and then all that other shit. Which that's the problem. Yes. So how do we fix that? We need, well, for one, we need to acknowledge it. Yep. Acknowledged. Y'all hear that? Yes. We need to acknowledge We're that. We're acknowledging it for right two, here. For two, we need to get over it. Yeah. For three, we might need to put our pride aside in some cases and just go, hey, St. Paul, y'all got it. Or Minneapolis, y'all got it. Because it's like that. let's keep it a buck. Who's the, the, the artist that gets named every time I say who's the hottest artist right now? Hmm. It's Skeet. Every time. Almost every time, the answer is Skeet. So if we know, and, and that comes from Minneapolis artists sometimes, if we know that a skeet, then can't we all just agree like, all right, Capital City, y'all got it right now. Let's everybody get behind skeet and push up because we had it with John Ray too. Yeah. And yeah, Ray definitely had his run. Right? Mm-hmm. But we didn't all get by, get behind him and And push. that's why people don't feel supported here. Like yes. people really do not feel like their city supports them. Like that's why they reach out to do features and do mm-hmm. shit with other artists because those artists are being supported in yeah. their city. So they feel like if they link in with them, they can get that same support. Mm-hmm. For whatever reason, Minnesota has just not gotten that. We need to be that for these, for, in order for us to have entertainment, for us to have shit to do, for us to be able to do these shows and these events and these awards, they need to get that shit together. Yeah. Like, it's just a flat out, if you don't support, why do you, how do you expect somebody to support you? It also seems like, it also seems like when an artist does kind of reach a new level, we kind of wipe our hands like, all right, he's out of here. We got him. Yeah, we don't need to support him anymore. Now like, the hate comes in. That Minnesota yeah. nice gets to kick in where people are always like, oh, yeah, I'm so fucking proud of you. But low key, they're only proud of you to the level of you not reaching past them. Yeah. People are so scared of you to reach past them versus it just may not be your fucking time. It might really be your homeboy time to shine. So you really should sell that nigga album. You really should put his shit up there. You really should be like, hey, I need you to interview him. Yeah. But no, they'll be like, I don't fuck with him like that. But they hurt themselves too. That nigga beats like, that nigga buy beats garbage and shit like that. Like, how many times do you hear somebody walk out the room and you like, but that's supposed to be your people though. Right. That isn't, people don't realize that that just in turn has people looking at Minnesota. Look at the people, look at the artist, look at the well-known popular artists who come here they treat minnesota like we secondary we ain't shit like yep. they ain't gotta show up the shows my friends don't gotta come here when you do come y'all come looking regular as fuck yep. like motherfuckers coming black t-shirts and shit that you can buy at the five dollar store but you come on tour looking however yeah y'all don't even shout out the artists when you're featured here in minnesota mm-hmm. so they Minnesota has to hold people accountable when they come here. That's Stop fact. making a person feel like you're that nigga. When you come to my, you come to my city and you do a fashion show here. I don't give a fuck who you are. I'm still her, not them. That's a catch twenty two. Also, <laughs> because I also feel like you know when a big promoter brings someone like let's say like just for example, Jeezy was just here, right? Right. We need to find a way to get it in their in their contract mm-hmm. that when they come here, they got to go sit down and do media. Why is that not already? It's I think like, I know. I think the reason it's not is because of the catch 22. Like you just said, we're afraid to ask them for too much because then they might not fuck with us and they might not come. They might not here. show up. If you want to come to the city and you can't come sit down and do what's going to blow that city up. Mm-hmm. Why are you coming? Yeah, I agree. Why are we buying hundred dollars, fifty dollars? These tickets are not cheap. Yeah. A lot of people right now are still struggling with their money. I'm supposed to buy you a fifty dollar to a three hundred. Really, some of these tickets be like three something. Yeah. But I ain't got no interview. You can't do no TV. Yeah. Motherfucker can't even come to the show on time most of the time. Yep. You don't interact with the crowd. You don't even interact with the artists that you're performing with. Yeah. There's no pictures. I don't, I've not seen one picture of Jeezy with none of the other artists. Yeah. I mean, put that in the contract too. Just 100. Yep. Should that even have to be? It shouldn't even have to be. But if that's the case, put that shit in the contract. And if you don't honor that, then don't bring your ass here. Yep. Because guess what? 
it's like 60 of them niggas up here that will really blow your ass out of the water. Like, for, sure. for real. Like, for sure. we got some for real artists that's actual entertainers, actual artists. Some of them can sing. They rap. They model. They do a lot of shit that people don't give them credit for. Mm -hmm. They're not just rappers. Yeah, we got a lot here. A lot. Yeah. That's because we got... We got more than one city. We do. We got the, <laughs> twin, the twin cities and everything else. So where do you, like, where do you see us going? Like, where do you see, do you think that we have the ability to really break through? We just need the money back in us. Money. It's no lie. Like, we already know what the fuck it is. It's, it's, it's money here is everybody here is, they want to get paid now. Yeah. Everybody here. And to be honest, I think we're at a level where we deserve to do the things we do. I'm not coming to the club if you're not paying me. Mm. I'm I'm old now. I'm not coming to kick with you if we're not. For what? Yeah. <laughs> I've been modeling since I was 15 years old. You want a featured model? You want me to bring the dudes? You want me to bring the girls? Pay me. I might not, I I might not come to the club even if you pay me. I'm old as fuck. I'm busy. My name's on the flyer. You're going to get attention. Yeah. That's just flat out. Even if I don't come, Yeah. if I give you my name right now, mm -hmm. Somebody gonna show up. For yeah. Me. Somebody gonna be at that door looking for me, and if I'm not there, I'm gonna be missed. For sure. So yeah, mo yeah, money's a big, money's a big one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, and I've thought that for a while too. Like there are a handful of art, probably more than a handful of artists, where if they had monetary backing, it'd be over. They'd be up out of here. It'd be no problem. Yep. You find that somebody. Part. You find somebody that can put a hundred, two hundred thousand behind Mac Turner. Gone. They're going. Gone. Gone. And, and pray to God that they come back for their city. That's all it takes. Yeah. It takes will. one they or will. two of them to really say, I did what I had to do. I got the fuck up out of here. But now, let me come and make sure that my city good. Yeah. It doesn't happen like that. The ones who do be able to leave and come, they be gone. Yeah. They live in Atlanta and shit now. Yep. So it's shit like it's that. It's true. But, but that's on us too, though, because we, yeah. what else are they supposed to do? It's like, look at Casey. Yeah. Right? Like, we supported him a little bit. And then we saw him with Kanye and it was like, ooh. And then it was the Grammy and we were like, whoa, that's, he's ours. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, Anytime somebody gets to a level of being close to the top, you become hated. I really, Here, I, I, hate I think some of it is hate. True. I think some of it is hate. It's envy. But I think a lot of it is just, like I said, it's just, okay, we're done with him now. Mm -hmm. We got it. He's, he's out of here. It's like once they reach that level where we feel like, okay, they're successful. Yeah. We don't need to support them anymore. And that's where that that's where because you're still supporting Beyonce and them. Exactly. <laughs> you're still supporting. You're still buying their albums. You're still doing their downloads. Yep. I don't hardly listen to no regular artists. Like, you going through my phone, you go through my stuff. It's everybody that I hang out with. Yeah. It's them. Why am I listening to your music? Yeah. I don't know you. Like that when we were growing up. That was cool, but now that I have friends who make music, I have people who do beats, I have people, why don't I listen to their stuff? That's the first thing I turn on every day. Every single day is a Suavo rapper. Every single day is Louie and them. Every single day is the girls, it's Taylor, it's all of them. That's what's on my rotation, because yeah. if you hop in my car, you're going to hear my friends. Yep. You're going to, who is that? That's promotion for y'all. I'll yes. be running down the street, bumping they shit. Who is that? That's that's what they need. You need people to continue supporting you. I, I mean, I'm proud to listen to our artists here. Like I'm, I'm like, yo, they're super underrated. You put some somebody, you put somebody dope. on to one of these, you know, the people that you just named. They're like, damn, y'all got it like that. Like when I go out of state, anytime I go out of state, like I'm. If you don't tell them that they are Minnesota artists, are they not more willing to? Look to that's the crazy part. Yeah. The second I say it's a Minnesota artist, people are like, oh, oh, okay. But if I play their music for you and I'm like, oh, they're from Atlanta, they're like, send me the song. Hmm. Minnesota does have hmm. a negative commentary behind it just because we don't have entertainment here. Yeah. People feel like we be over here tipping cows. It's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously. Yeah. People think Minnesota is just, it is cold as hell here, but so, uh, we know how to make it here. For a couple of months. We're, we know how to make it here. Yeah. You know how, I'm, I be mad when people be like, oh, it's snowing. You live in Minnesota. Yeah. It's the land of 10,000 lakes. It freezes. It gets cold. I like it the rains. Snow. It seats. It rains, sleet, hail, snow, and be sunny all in the same day here. Yeah. Like, you just got to rock with the punches. For sure. We get it all. Entertainment. We're lucky. <laughs> We're lucky. We get it all. We get it all. We yeah. do. I mean, you know, I don't have the answers. I know that we have an, a, an incredible amount of talent, and I'm doing my best to put a light on it. You're doing a good job. Thank you. I think you know. I think you are as well. I Thank think you. there are other platforms and people out there that are as well. But yeah, like you said, if we could learn to support, you know, uh, our local artists the way that we do Drake or Beyonce or yeah. whoever, you know, I, I would love to see like 
who's the I wonder who the highest selling or the the most streamed artist mainstream artist in Minnesota is. I would love to find out. That's a good question. I would love to find that we out. We gotta get an answer to that. Yeah. So when this drop, we gotta we need to an answer. And then let me know why we can't do that for Prince Riley. Or why we can't do that for all of them? Because that's gonna change his life. Yeah. You know, why let's say it's that? Drake. Let's say it's five million streams in Minnesota week. The week his album drops. Imagine Prince Riley got five million streams on his album the week the week it dropped. That's life changing. How do they? I think I think one of the biggest things is they, I think they don't have the knowledge to how to do it here either. A lot of people don't know what That's the true. next step is supposed to be. That's true. How do you get to the next step if there's nobody here to lead the way to even show you? Minnesota is a, a monkey see, monkey do state. Like, we know that shit. People copy your ideas, your business. You can't even post it. You post it, it's going to get stolen. Just know that. You better wait until you're ready to do For it. For sure. But how do you build the map of doing some shit that's never been done here? Yeah, that's a great point. We don't have um, infrastructure. We don't have the infrastructure. We don't have the money. We don't have the execs. We don't have the ANRs. And even the ones that are from Minnesota, they're not here. Yeah, they're in LA. They're in LA. That's why I book Fashion Week every, every yeah. year because I take my footage, I take my content from LA, mm-hmm. and I push that out here. Yep. So that there's the collaboration of my LA resources with now a lot of my friends are doing LA Fashion Week. They haven't did Fashion Week here. A lot of them are going to New York with me on the 18th. Like we got a lot of stuff getting ready to come up and that's really all I'm trying to make sure that there's opportunities. Yeah. And you can't do that without reaching out. People are afraid to ask for shit. Close mouth don't get fed. If you don't ask somebody for help, you are only limited to your circle. You are only limited to your box. Yeah. I like to keep my box with an open top so that I can pour into it. Mm. So Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to talk to somebody that's like-minded. Thank you. <laughs> and and uh, somebody that cares the same way I do, Minnesota despite baby. despite some people's beliefs. You I don't I don't think there's it. anybody in I don't think there's anybody in Minnesota that cares more than I do. That's re- I, that's how I feel about myself. As you should. And I have proved that Even for when years. You said, what is the, really the basis of being the face of the city? Mm-hmm. If you can't comfortably sit there and say you're the face of the city and stand on it, then you just shouldn't say it. I don't know if I'm the face of the city, but what I will tell you is... You're damn sure one of them. I am the face of hip-hop media in Minnesota. That's what I'll say. And I can stand on that. That I can say. I can say that and I can stand on that. you say something out your mouth, as long as you stand on it, that's bond. Your word is bond. But as long as you're going to do everything that you can to make sure that that factor is... Who the fuck is it going to tell you different? Who else can yeah. tell you that you're not the face of the city? Who else can tell you that you're not the biggest media platform? Numbers don't lie. Things don't. I also <laughs> don't really. Don't I matter. also don't really care to even have that moniker. Like, yeah. but the fact of the matter is, like, I don't know anybody that has supported local hip hop mm-hmm. more than me or better than me in the last ten years. That's really, and that's. I mean, and Minnesota would be the, the track records there. Peace without you guys, so yeah. you, you have to. It's okay to say. I've done this for my city yeah. because it is frustrating to say that sometimes we don't get that reciprocal. I've done it for the turn. cities, by the way. All of them. The city. All you are right. Because I'm not just St. Paul. I'm not just Minneapolis. Yeah. I just did a Mankato show with Rochester, Mankato, St. Paul, yep. Minneapolis, just so that we were bringing all of those artists. I didn't even know Rochester was coming like that. Yeah. Like, for real. Like, didn't even know they was coming like that. So to be able to go and now know these people now yeah. add some more people to my rolodex yeah so when i'm booking my fashion shows and i got stuff coming up from my artists and we're trying to say okay what else can we do to bring somebody out here that's gonna be the shit that's making it they're watching the videos from our clubs they're For watching sure. the shit that we're doing from our shows they was a little mad at me about the twerk competition but you know shit happens sometimes. <laughs> that's good if you i feel like if people are mad then you're doing something right did you know what? I think that people have the expectation that everything is going to always go over perfect. Yes, I grew up in the birds, but I also grew up in the hood, so shit happens. Mm. I was taught to handle it when it happened. Yeah, That's just what the fuck it is. If I'm doing an event and there's shit happening, we're going to rock it all the way out until the end of my event. I'm yeah. not leaving y'all. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not really a scary type person. Mm-hmm. So I try to make sure my people are cool. But shit happens. It's going to be anywhere. Any club you go where there's alcohol, girls, and dudes, something going to happen eventually. People don't know how to act all the time, but you can't. I can't stop doing events. Yeah. Because I got artists who want to get on and do new albums. I got artists who are trying to show their music. We got Valentine's Day events coming up, all kind of stuff. If one opportunity closes, I'm kicking in another door. For sure. So if we don't, who else is? 
if you get mad and you're like, I'm not doing no more interviews because this person is coming here like this. Where does that leave the people? Who I tried that. Us? I tried that once. I couldn't. I couldn't. Can't stay, quit. I couldn't stay away. They'll stalk you. Yeah, I tried They'll it once. You. I couldn't stay away. <laughs> I love it too much. Um, so we need to wrap. But yeah. um, I'm glad we could do this. I'm glad we could I have a good. I'm glad we could that. have this conversation. Thank you. I've enjoyed the conversation. I think it was insightful and impactful. Mm-hmm. And um, I would like you to tell these people, all these lovely people that are watching right now, where they can find you and what they should do when they find you. Hey, you can find me on all social media platforms at the Beautiful Red. Yes, my name is Trademark, so that's it. That's all you need to look up. The Beautiful Red. <laughs> the Beautiful Red. Okay. I appreciate you very Thank much. You. I appreciate you, Jake. Thank and that's you for a wrap. Me. <laughs> Minnesota's number one daily show, live on Lake Street. I'm Jake Faircloth. Follow me everywhere at Jake Faircloth One. Yeah.